Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. This is going to be your weekly reading. It's for tomorrow. Or, I'm sorry, daily reading. I just put out all the weekly readings and monthly readings. You guys are getting readings, readings, readings. Trying to keep you busy during this time when everybody's stuck in the house. And I want you guys to have all the readings I can possibly put out for you. But I'm going to get a few daily readings out and then i got to get back to my life. Anyway, guys, um, this is your daily reading for tomorrow, for Tuesday. All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for the collective for tomorrow, Tuesday, the 7th of April, 2020, or whenever they stumble upon it and it resonates. Okay, let's do it. What does the collective need to know the most? Ugh, three of swords. Come on, guys. What else? We need to know the most for this reading for tomorrow, please, for the collective. Okay, well, you got a challenge. Okay. All right. Wow, so you've been betrayed around some kind of partnership here. Yep, you're in the reverse here. Coming through is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, receiving news you're not happy about. What else? Yep, somebody's... Uh, wants to fight somebody's involving other people somebody's being a big old jerk all right now we have something moving forward and someone moving away interesting all right so we have the um fool here i feel as though you're going to be able to walk away from all this you're going to walk away from it eight of cups here um we have the king of wands right in the middle of those two cards so Listen, for some of you, you could be a man who's walking away from a woman who is um, financially draining you, possibly, or she's not sharing financially, or you're a woman walking away from a man. Let's take a peek here. Or the two of you are walking away from something together. All right, yeah, so, oh, wow. This is really interesting. All right, so, we have the world here. So we have a cycle that's trying to close out. This would be a big graduation day. This is a good thing, being able to close out an old cycle that included some kind of heartache. There was heartache here in a relationship. All right, so we have an unhappy relationship. This Ten of Cups is all about two people, right? It's unhappiness when it's in reverse. So there's a lack of happiness in whatever situation this is in some kind of partnership. And someone's unable to see, see how this person's blindfolded? The beauty right in front of them and the beauty in the path ahead. They just don't see it yet. Okay, it's coming. All right, we might have had an emperor that was controlling this situation. This is a man who's out of control. This person could have been the one that um, hurt somebody, did something they shouldn't have do done here. But we have a divinely guided situation here. Um... Archangel Michael stepping in with this beautiful temperance card. And this temperance is working with all the elements. See the fire in her hand, the air in her hair, the earth and water all around her. Beautiful. I love that card. One of my very favorites in this deck. Page of Cups. Somebody might have not been genuine. It's reversed. They might have been, um, there could be an apology ode that didn't come through. There could have been a rejection here, but it's divinely guided. Whatever this is, this nasty emperor and the page of cups reverse it was divinely guided so there's a reason for it we have something coming in real slow the knight of pentacles and it's something good and we have someone here who's putting up their defenses staying away from the monster that's on this this could be your karmic looking for you you're hiding behind the tree someone defending themselves something coming in really nice really slow hasn't arrived yet um, and I told you guys about all this. There's been some kind of heartache in a relationship. Um, we have news that wasn't great. We have the Queen of Pentacles feeling really drained here. Somebody who's a fire-breathing dragon here. That's that emperor. A fire sign right there. Could be an Aries. Um, we have somebody who's walking away from all of this too. We have another king right here. The King of Wands could be the same man, but he's in the upright here. So we got to find out what happened here. We're going to get right into clarifying, and we're going to use, I think we're going to use um, 
All right, we used the Celtic Universal deck. I think we're going to use the Tower of the 78 Doors to clarify. I've got to just make a little bit of space here because these are big cards. All right, there we go. All right. <clears throat> Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for the collective for tomorrow's reading for Tuesday, the 7th of April, 2020. For anyone who's guided to see this reading here on YouTube, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. For anyone who is guided to see this, please help me clarify the cards that we've already laid down here to get a real clear picture of what's going on with this reading and help me quickly and accurately deliver the messages to the people that are guided to watch this reading. Okay, let's do it. Three of Swords, why is it here? For tomorrow's reading, why is the Three of Swords here? Okay, we got challenges. Three of Swords. So this heartache's been a real challenge for someone. And we have the Knave. The Knaves are older than pages, but younger than Knights. They're, they're a more mature. They're kind of like a Knight in a way. They're, they're a little younger than a Knight, but older than a Knave. Now, keep in mind, it's just a maturity level. It doesn't have to really be their age. But we have Knave of Wands here with something behind their back to offer when they come in. But this is a challenge. So, um, I feel as though somebody has suffered some kind of heartache because some offer or something they were expecting didn't show up. It was heartbreaking. It just never came. Now, doesn't mean it's not coming, but this has been a challenge to, to have this offer to be able to come forward. Sometimes the Knight of Wands has to do with moving forward because there was some kind of heartache in the situation and it's been hard for someone to overcome and move forward. I feel like what I'm feeling is really happening here is this heartache has made it hard for someone to move forward. This Three of Swords, twice. You got it here twice. So, three, I'm sorry, Four of Wands here as a challenge. Why did the Four of Wands, okay. Lack of communication. Look, we have blocked communication. This Six of Wands is all about communication. It's been blocked. So, this has been um, your peace, your home, your family life, your peace in your life, your four walls of stability could even be work, whatever it is, has been kind of um, disheveled because there's been no communication. Something's been blocked here in a partnership. Tell me about this Two of Cups reversed, please. Why is Two of Cups reversed here, please, for tomorrow's reading? Yeah, so absolutely, something hasn't moved forward in a partnership. Something's been blocked. The partnership's kind of been turned upside down here. Two of Cups reversed. Why is it here for tomorrow's reading like this? Okay. Yeah, there's that Knight of Wands reversed again. Something has been unable to move forward in a partnership, just not going anywhere. All right, let's look at the Page of Wands reversed. Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? Here we go, Three of Wands, forward movement. All right, listen, so this Three of Wands, the light is not lit at the top of the lighthouse. There's somebody down here trying to manifest something in, but they're having a hard time doing it because the light has to be lit at the top. So I feel as though someone got news that they didn't like, Page of Wands reversed, about this situation that's been stuck and not moving forward, and they're trying very hard to manifest it forward. <clears throat> Eventually it does. I mean, somebody is able to move forward. They might be walking away from something. Tell me about this page, uh, Queen of Pentacles reverse center of the reading for tomorrow. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in the reverse? Why is Queen of Pentacles in the reverse? Queen of Pentacles reversed here, please, for tomorrow's reading. Just one or two. Oops, nope. They're falling, but they're not popping. 
Okay, we might have to move on from her. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Can we get one or two cards on her? Why is she reversed? Okay. King of Swords. Alright, so some kind of truth and clarity is coming in about this queen. Give me one more on the Queen of Pentacles reversed. And this could be her counterpart. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the King of Swords here. What's going on? Yeah, Judgment. Oh, Ten of Pentacles. All right, so we have the Judgment card and the Ten of Pentacles, and we also have, when I see Judgment and the King of Swords, this could be a legal judgment, and we've been getting a lot of that in the readings lately. It's completion. Somebody is completing something that has to do with their home, their family, possibly their work. Um, this is very, this card looks very much about home and family, though. Something is coming to a um, full circle here. There's some kind of truth and clarity coming in. Could be about a financial drain that this woman has suffered. All right, let's get, um, let's keep going. We might come back to the middle there if we have to. Tell me about the Five of Wands here. Five of Wands. This is a harsh Five of Wands too. We'll talk about that. This Five of Wands, please, why is it here? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so somebody's releasing something. All right, we have the Magician Reverse. Somebody was trying to manipulate a situation here to control it. They tried to involve other people. They wanted to fight. The whole bit. Um, just not doing the right thing. Caused somebody a lot of heartache. We have the Four of Pentacles here. It's reversed. This is somebody who's trying to figure out how to fit through that door, and they clearly can't. This is somebody who's trying to hold on to an idea that's well a bad idea it's reversed somebody has to release this oh no somebody tried so hard to manipulate a situation but they're gonna have to release it this truth is coming out i feel with this king of swords and judgment here tell me about the um the fool why is the fool here why is the fool involved in this reading for tomorrow please once someone is peeking through the door they're literally <laughs> looking through the door as in they're um, able to manifest themselves through the door to see what's on the other side of it without actually opening the door um, this is somebody who's looking ahead trying to prepare what way they're gonna go and when they figure it out they're gonna take the leap the fool really nice all right let's look at this king of wands tell me about this king of wands please why is the king of wands here Tomorrow's reading. Why King of Wands? Why is he involved? Absolutely. Someone is trying to heal. Four of Swords. They don't even know everything. They're blind. See how they're, it's a blind person they're showing. Trying to make their way through something, but they don't have all the answers. They don't know everything. They can't see everything. So we have the King of Wands here trying to heal from something, but he because he doesn't have all the answers. He didn't he doesn't really know what happened here. Let me look at the Eight of Cups. Why is the Eight of Cups here? He probably doesn't know that this Emperor was controlling things. Tell me about the Eight of Cups here, please, for tomorrow's reading. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles reverse. She's walking away from it. This woman is walking away. The woman we started with in the middle of the reading who went through something, some kind of heartache in her home and family. We have the Judgment card and the King of Swords here. She is going to be um, walking away from something emotional. I want to get one more on her here. Tell me more about the Queen of um, Pentacles reverse with the Eight of Cups. Absolutely, somebody was doing something behind the scenes, working behind the scenes, um, quietly planning something. She might have been quietly planning her escape. She was quietly planning her, her walking away from this, I feel. She was going to walk away. She was quietly planning walking away from all this. 
I want to get one. Um, okay, so when we look at this judgment card here, it's a really interesting, I like it. I do, but it's harsh. We have some people that make the right decision and go up to heaven. They get their angel wings and go up. These people followed the devil down here. If you can see the devil's head first right here. These people followed the devil off the cliff. So there's some kind of truth about some kind of family situation. I want to um, get one on that judgment card. Can I have one on that judgment card? Why is the judgment card here, please? With the king of swords, too. Wow. Why is this judgment card here? This feels so, it feels legal. Yep, it's about the third party situation. Um, the three of swords. Now we have the three of cups and the king of cups. This has been an emotional drain for someone. I feel like a third person got involved here. Um, but this could just be, actually, you know what? I feel like this is just emotional energy with the king of cups reversed and the three of cups reversed. Somebody could have chosen the wrong path. Like I said, this judgment card is what we're, we're um, looking into. We have a king of cups here who could have taken the wrong path and went off the cliff with the devil. So there could have been a group of people that made a really bad judgment call. And they ended up going off the cliff. It could have been financial. Could have been financial. Can I have one on the Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Ten of Pentacles, please? Queen of Pentacles reversed with the Ten of Pentacles. And the King of Swords. Give me him too. Wow. All right, well, let's see here. All right. We have here the Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, Knave. Again, not a page, a Knave. Knave of Pentacles reversed, and we have someone getting out of their head. Eight of Swords. This was somebody who was just taunted and haunted probably by someone was doing something wrong um we have some kind of a rejection that's going to or a situation i feel like someone's being released from something the queen of pentacles this is probably a legal judgment the queen of pentacles is releasing being released from because i think we have a group of people who did something they shouldn't have done and in turn, it released her and also what flipped over the chariot. So she's moving forward. She's being released from a situation that was toxic, I feel. Um, there's all indications of this Queen of Pentacles moving forward. Secretly, she's been planning it. She's walking away from whatever this was. It was a drain. Um, bottom of the deck, there is the Ace of Pentacles. So I wonder if she's going to, um, I want to get one more on her. Can I have one more card on the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse here? Last card here. Why is the Queen of Pentacles reversed? Why is the Queen, okay, that's way too many. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here at the end of the reading reversed? Knight of Swords, she's moving forward. She is just out of here. Gone. Done. Look, Knight of Cups as well. She's finally getting unstuck. I think somebody had her trapped in something toxic. I feel like it was this King of Cups. He could have done something here. I want to look into him too. Tell me more about the King of Cups reversed. Why is the King of Cups reversed here? Yeah, he's unable to walk away. He's unable to walk away from something. Tell me more about the King of Cups reversed. I'm getting the feeling that he was unable to walk away from something, so he tried to keep her trapped. Tell me about the King of Cups reversed. King of Cups reversed is his emotional manipulator. He really can be. Just one card, please, on the King of Cups reversed. And there was the Three of Cups reversed with him as well. I want to look at both. King of Cups reversed, Three of Cups reversed. What, what's going on here? Here we go. Oh, it's over. The world. So a cycle's closing. 
All right, so what was going on here is we have a King of Cups who was emotional. He, he's an emotional manipulator, no doubt about it. This guy is an emotional manipulator. He was trying to keep her trapped in a situation that he couldn't emotionally walk away from. Could have been a family situation. I feel like she's being released from it regardless because I, I think there could have been a legal judgment that said, look, you can't keep someone trapped just because you're so tied up in your emotions and can't walk away from it. You can't. So I feel like this could have been a legal judgment coming in saying that the Queen of Pentacles is released from whatever this was. All right. She's able now to move forward with victory here. And a cycle is now going to end. It's right in the center of the reading. This is a really good thing for the Queen of Pentacles because she's moving away towards victory. She's been planning her escape all along. I mean, look at all these cards are all, I'm out of here, I'm out of here, I'm out of here. Queen of Pentacles reversed. She's been drained. I don't know what this King of Wands has to do with anything. Tell me more about this King of Wands here and the Four of Swords. Why is the King of Wands involved in this reading? Why is the king, oh, sorry guys. Why is king of wands involved in this reading with the four of swords here? What's going on with the king of wands? Oh, he's getting over depression. This got to be the same king. All right, so um, we have the four of chalices. This is um, somebody who's sitting around, depressed, eating a bag of chips, watching TV, looking miserable, coming out of it. So this person's healing from whatever happened here. So we have here a man who um, is just an emotional mess, to be honest with you. Um, he's trying to heal. He tried to keep this woman trapped in something. And the truth is he tried to manipulate it and he has to release it. There's just no two ways about it. We're gonna go over it because I know it was a very intense reading. We have here Somebody who is challenged to move forward because of heartache. That's the challenge to the heartache card. Same card, three of swords. There's been no communication. It's kind of messed up somebody's peace here. It's a challenge to their home, their family. Could be a housing situation. No forward movement, no communication, no forward movement in a partnership. Somebody's trying to manifest in forward movement, but the news has not been great here. We definitely have someone here who chose to uh, emotionally manipulate someone and try to keep them totally trapped, the Queen of Pentacles here, in a situation, but uh, they're finding out that this person is going to be released from whatever this is. Bad decision, bad judgment, but there's going to be another judgment that allows her to move forward and end a cycle that needed to end. It feels like it was a karmic cycle here, guys. <clears throat> Again, someone tried to manipulate. They lost out. It has to be released. We have someone here who's, and I swear this is this Queen of Pentacles. She's been working quietly on her escape. She's going to get that escape. She's going to get to walk away, charge away, leave a situation. She's going to break down that door to get away from whatever this is. She's peeking through the door to see which direction she's going to go in when she's released from this and she's taken off with the fool here. We have a man here who's trying to heal, so depressed about this situation. Could this have been third party? It could be. There could have been two men and a woman involved. It could have been something around work or business. That could have been a partnership of some sort. Who knows, but I feel like um, one of these people was trying to manipulate the situation, and I feel like um, that's coming out. I feel like that information will come out here if it hasn't already. Um, it's possible both men were wor working together against this woman, but she's been planning her escape all along. Anyway, guys, I hope this makes sense to you. Because um, this felt like, I mean, there were a lot of cards that made it look like it was a, like a home and family situation, but there were other cards that made the, the feel and the vibe I'm getting of this reading is more like someone trying to keep someone 
trapped in some kind of like uh, business sense or contract or something and they were manipulating it trying to keep this woman it's almost felt like two men were ganging up on one woman and they were trying every tactic they could do to try and make it happen but at least one of the men is regretful about it here the other one's just a hot mess but um this could have all been one man who's um he's cancer pisces scorpio or and he could also have in his chart um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So keep that in mind. The queen could have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo in her chart. But listen, it doesn't have to be that way. But um, that's what's coming through the strongest. But definitely somebody hurt somebody in this situation. But um, And it could have been third party. And, yeah, I definitely think it, it could have been some kind of weird third-party situation. Anyway, we do have two men that are not happy here. And we have a queen who's been through a lot who's escaping it. Anyway, I hope this makes sense to somebody. It could be one person. It didn't have to be two men, but it sure felt like it. All right. Because this one seems like they're healing and don't understand what happened. And this one, the one under that is the one that was emotionally manipulating and controlling and doing things. But to tell you the truth, these are fire, this is a fire sign card, this five of wands. But anyone could be behaving like this. Fire breathing dragon, causing trouble, involving other people. I feel like somebody did that. They involved other people. They caused a lot of drama and trauma. And that's why I got these two men coming out here. It's very possible. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for whoever resonated with this reading. What comes next? For anyone that will resonate with this reading, what comes next? It's intended to be for tomorrow, Tuesday, the 7th of April, 2020, or whenever someone stumbles upon it and resonates. What comes next in this situation, please? What comes next? Absolutely. Look at that. Beautiful. The chariot again. Give me one more, please. This queen could possibly have cancer in her chart. Can I have one more card, please? One more. Oops. Sheesh. That's way, way, way too many. Just one card, please, for what comes next for anyone that resonated with this reading. One more. There we go. All right. Wow. Oof talk about some well i'm gonna hide these from you because these are incredible all right so the cycle's gonna end like we talked about it's gonna happen all right now you guys know the chariot came out here we're gonna talk about that in a minute someone's gonna stop concentrating on what's been spilled what's been lost and start focusing on what i do have i feel as though there could be something if if these people were keeping money from her that's coming in for her um what she's owed is happening and it's going to help her come full circle and close out an old karmic cycle you guys will not believe this look at all this victory the chariot is all about victory and forward movement and so is the six of wands this is victory forward movement recognition these are amazing cards and we got the justice card right there this is a beautiful energy so, I have to say that this Queen of Pentacles could have cancer somewhere in her chart. Somebody here could. We have Libra. We have um, Cancer. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, Virgo's here a lot, too. So, I mean, Virgo, for sure. Um, the men, we could have, um, like I said... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius came through the strongest. So it could be one man with, you know, two of those elements, um, you know, with both of those elements, water and um, fire, or it could be two different men. But either way, we have someone here who's going to move forward right into victory. If somebody has owed something, they're getting it. So if this queen, because, you know, the queen of pentacles is someone who's been financially drained, and it looks like... Uh, people were, look, this even looks like someone was holding her back from her finances, keeping her trapped in something, keeping her away from getting what was hers. 
it's all coming full it's coming full circle two world cards two chariot cards and another victory card and justice coming in now on top of justice we also had judgment and the king of swords that's why i feel felt like this was a legal judgment i feel like whatever's due to this woman she's getting she's getting it even though someone tried to manipulate this situation terribly um anyway guys i hope that this makes sense to someone i hope that i mean it looks like it turns out beautifully for someone here all right let's get you some angel cards here angels for anyone that resonated with this reading what do you want them to focus on please for tomorrow oh grace of course education and trust wow all right listen i love this this was a karmic lesson it was a karmic cycle that you were stuck in i feel um i feel that you did a great job because you handled it with grace I always see that grace card as the by Felicia card, someone who just dances away with grace. It was an education. Um, you handled it with grace. Trust the process because it was just an education and it's going to get a lot better for you because you handled it so gracefully. So if you guys are still up against this, handle it with grace and trust the process, okay? You might still be in the middle of all this. And I'm seeing here that the person that handles it gracefully is the one that is going to end up with all this amazing success in this situation. I mean, this is like pure success. You know, the world, the chariot twice. I mean, this is a lot of goodness coming in. So anyway, guys, please let me know if this was yours. You didn't, did you have any aces? I don't think you had any aces in this reading. So this is like your completion of the old cycle. And when this is done, you'll get the aces. You'll get a new beginning. It'll come. Right now, it's kind of on hold right now um, because, well, I feel like somebody's been holding up this cycle. Yeah, because we started out with the world in reverse, remember? It was in reverse. Now it's in the upright twice. You got the world here three times. Excellent. So whatever this was that you're going to get released from and move away from, after that, after you've moved away from it, you're going to get your ace. You're going to get your brand new beginning. You got the fool. That's step one. That's a new beginning right there. And the world, look, they even show you the new beginning, the baby. So you'll complete the cycle and your new beginning is right behind it. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed your reading. It was longer than it was supposed to be, but it was such a great reading. I couldn't cut it off. Um... Guys, I hope you're staying safe. Keep your family safe. I hope that you're, you know, hunkered down at home, really um, spending some quality time together. Um, please let me know if this resonated with you. Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, all my information is right beneath this video in the description area. My email, my PayPal, and my um, prices. All right, guys. Um, have a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.